Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle from Manawan, New Jersey, weighing in at 225 pounds, being accompanied in the ring by his manager, Sonny, here is one half of the body Donna's Skip. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen, here, Skip here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here. It is I. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my first YouTube rant. Before I get into this, let me just introduce everyone to myself. I am the Wrestle Vessel here, and that was just me uh, doing a little messing around here. I think I make a very good uh, Howard Finkel impersonation. That's for you to decide, though. I am the Wrestle Vessel, 22 years old, from New Jersey, and I'm a recent graduate of Ramapo College. I'm currently unemployed because, you know, the job market's so bad, it's difficult to find a job. And if I don't get something soon, I just might take some joke job for now, but that's a little bit about myself. I've been a professional wrestling fan here since 1992, and I'm extremely knowledgeable about the history since the 1980s. Over the years, I've collected tons of wrestling merchandise, including the video games, the wrestling buddies, the figures, and even rare, obscure items such as wrestling trace plates or the wrestling hockey Remco game, spin fighters, and of course I have plenty of tapes and DVDs, so if you're interested in any of that, let me know. I've been a fan of the World Wrestling Federation since 1992. One of my earliest memories of wrestling was being scared to death of the big man, Papa Shango. Now, Shango was feuding with the Ultimate Warrior at the time, and he was putting curses on people. The one I remember very well is when the warrior is being interviewed by Mean Gene on the podium. And suddenly you see black goo dripping down the warrior's face. For the next year, whenever Shango came on the screen, even if it was just in an insert promo, a little square promo of the wrestlers when they talked during the match, I'd just run out of the room. Keep in mind, I was only five or six at the time when he was around, and I had other friends who were scared of people like The Undertaker. I didn't fear him, just Papa Shango. <laughs> anyway, my two favorites at the time were The Ultimate Warrior. You've got to believe in the power of the warriors. And oh yeah, the macho man, Randy Snavage, snap into a Slim Jim. And they would later on become a great tag team known as the Ultimate Maniacs. Too bad they didn't win the titles for Money Incorporated on Saturday night's main event. I would have marked out tremendously for that. Now, as a wrestling fan, I've been fortunate enough to meet many wrestlers over the years. I met Adam Baum and Doink the Clown in 1994 at Sports World Amusement Park. Those of you in North New Jersey know that place. It was a great arcade place, the only place we had around like it. And it has since closed down, which is very unfortunate. In 95 or 96, I met Hunter Hurst Helmsley at a restaurant called The Fireplace. And by the way, he wasn't a jerk at this time like he is today. In fact, he was a real nice guy. He gave me free autographs. I had my photo taken with him, free magazines, etc. So it was a very good experience when I met Triple H back in that time. In 1999, I met Superfly Jimmy Snuka at my high school for an independent wrestling event. In 2002, I met Hulk Hogan and Jimmy Hart at Bookends in Ridgewood, New Jersey. It's a bookstore where the wrestlers sign your books and things like that. I've since made many trips to Bookends and seen a lot of wrestlers. I'll mention some of them coming up. In 2004, I met Woo, the Nature Boy Ric Flair, also at Bookends. In 2007, I met Tito Santana, The Patriot, and Jim Powers at an independent wrestling event at William Patterson University. At this event, I got Jim Powers' contact information, and I continue to speak with him, and today I'm working as his agent, taking his bookings and helping run his MySpace page, which you can t check out at myspace.com slash Powers. If any promoters or people want to get him on a radio show, feel free to contact us on that page because uh, he'd be very interested in doing that. Also, in March of 2008, you know, since I've been working for him, as I mentioned before, the MySpace page, that's how long I've been doing that. Also, later in the summer of 08, I met Tito Santana for the second time, this time at Bookends, when his book came out at that time. And in 2008, I also met Brett the Hitman Hart at Bookends. And in 2009, this past February, I met Axe and Smash Demolition at an independent wrestling show in Jersey City, New Jersey. So, I've met a lot of wrestlers over the years, and... It's been nice meeting them, and I really like doing that. 
And also, let's talk about some other stuff here. I've had a radio show here in the past since the spring of 2007 all the way till the spring of 2009. I had a partner. We had this little sports talk radio show where we discussed the, the sports stories, you know, from NFL, baseball, major, uh, major league baseball, you know, NBA basketball, professional wrestling, and just other interesting stories and scandals and things that have gone on over the years. We discussed that in our show. It was very good. We took calls from listeners. We actually had Jim Powers and Leaping Lanny Poffo call into our show. In addition to, we had the uh, this interesting call from United Kingdom named Roy. So, my show here is just to be interesting here. Make some YouTube rants about my feelings on the current wrestling product. Uh, any, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them here. I'll respond to them on the videos. Uh, unfortunately, though, I don't have special technology. I don't have someone that would film me while I'm doing this, so... Unfortunately, you just got to listen to me and maybe check out a couple pictures on this thing. I cannot, I don't really have special technology to be able to film myself doing this, so that's why you don't see me on camera or anything. But if any wrestlers want to uh, have any call in and talk on the show, I'd feel free. I'd ask questions, put it on here. Anybody, even just a random fan, you want to ask something, you want me to talk about something, go ahead. I'm going to be open to the anything. So I'll be back in a little bit, my first official YouTube rant. This is just a little introduction. I am the Wrestle Vessel, and uh, have a good day, everybody. I'll be back in a little bit with this first video. Take care.